What's up, YouTube? This your boy, B-Boy Facts on TV, and tonight I will go on my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button for more wrestling content on the channel. Turn on, um, turn on post notifications to get notified when I when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Instagram and TikTok and Twitch and Discord down below in the description, and let's go over WWE SmackDown review on highlights. Now, SmackDown was a decent show. So, this was a go-home show, but at the same time, this was a decent episode of SmackDown. It says, um, we, we, we go live on SmackDown at Sam's, Sam's Auto Arena in Laredo, Texas. All right, the commentators was, the commentators was Michael Cole and Ray Berry. WWE SmackDown kicks off with highlights of Monday, Monday's Tribal Court from, from Raw. That was a good segment that they did on Raw. That segment was pure gold on Raw. All right. <clears throat> All right. And, and SUV pulls up at the arena, and now comes the Usos and Solo Sequoia. Sami Zayn comes out of a WWE truck wearing a hoodie. He whispers to Jay and tells him that tells him that what he did for him on Monday. He won't. He won't forget that. Jay says he got him, but Sami Zayn says he got him. And if and if he ever needs something, he has he has him. Jay tells him they have orders not to speak with him as they hug and Sami Zayn leaves. So we already knew. So we already knew that Jimmy that um Jay Uso hit up Sami. He he called Sami Zayn on the phone. It says that he's going to um, show up on SmackDown, so we already knew that. But anyway, we cut to the arena, and out comes Rey Mysterio's for, Rey Mysterio for his match. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we get Rey Mysterio versus Karrion Cross coming by Scarlet. Now this match, now this was a decent match. The bell rings, we are underway. Karrion Cross throws Rey Mysterio across the ring. Rey Mysterio backs to his feet as he runs to the to the ropes and hits Karen Cross with a drop kick. Karen Cross backs up and as Rey Mysterio runs and Cross hits him with a clothesline. Karen Cross throws Rey Mysterio over the top rope and to the outside of the ring. Karen Cross to the outside as he lifts Rey Mysterio up, but Rey Mysterio lands on his feet and he pushes Karen Cross into the ring post. Rey Mysterio's Rey Mysterio gets back gets back into the ring. So we go to commercial break. Back from the commercial, Karen Cross with a backbreaker on Mysterio in the middle of the rope, middle of the ring. Karen Cross goes for the cover, but Rey Mysterio kicks out. Karen Cross places Rey Mysterio on the top rope as Karen Cross climbs the second rope. Karen Cross tries tries to rip Rey Mysterio's mask off, but Rey Mysterio elbows him down. Karen Cross trips Rey Mysterio up, and Rey Mysterio hit Rey Mysterio in a trio of woe. Um, Karen Cross runs towards Rey Mysterio, but Rey Mysterio lifts up, and Karen Cross hits shoulder first into the ring post. Rey Mysterio back on his feet, and he kicks Karen Cross in the second row. Rey Mysterio goes for the six one nine, but Scarlet trips him, trips him up. Karen Cross runs towards Rey Mysterio, but Rey Mysterio moves out of the way, and Karen Cross on the second rope. Rey Mysterio hits him with a six one nine. Um, Rey Mysterio with a splash off the top rope. He grab, he goes for a, he goes for the cover, but Karen Cross kicks out. Both men on their feet. Karen Cross with a suplex. He lifts Rey Mysterio back up, but Rey Mysterio reverses it into a cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Rey Mysterio. This was a decent match. We see a video package hyping up the Men's Royal Rumble match. Out comes WWE United States Champion Austin Theory. So we go to commercial break. Austin Theory is in the ring and loud boos for him. Loud boos for the crowd. Austin Theory says the champ is here and raise his title in the air. And not only did he retain his United States title on Monday, but now because they are in in the now, he is going straight to the Royal Rumble. And he is going to win the Royal Rumble. Okay, the New Day theme. Yeah, the New Day theme hits 
hits and out comes Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. Kofi tells him to hold up and that there are only three Austin's he reset he respects and Austin Austin Creed Stone Cold Steve Steve Austin and the city where he lives in the great state of Texas. Xavier Woods says he knows he is from Raw three three hour show where they have to fill up the show. But here on SmackDown it's two hours and they have to cut cut to business immediately. They get in the ring and t- and Kofi tells him he heard him say he he was going t- to win the World Rumble. The new day laugh. Um, everyone says if not theory who as the fans chant who Kofi says they will win the World Rumble. Wood says when one of them wins the World Rumble, they they all win the World Rumble. Kofi Kofi Kingston says Biggie too, as in Biggie and not not why not why as in Spanish. Um, Austin Theory says he is the biggest star in the WWE. I'll come to miss. Um, he says biggest star in WWE with question mark. He has been competing in Royal Rumble matches since before. Theory hit purity. Austin Theory says that just means he is old as Miss gets in the ring. Miss says order Weezer auto riser smarter and better than he will ever be. Miz says he will throw him over the top rope and win the Royal Rumble. The new day starts to laugh as Miz says there is nothing more dangerous than him with something on his shoulder. Xavier Woods says a chip. Miz says he will give him a taste of what it will be like tomorrow. Miss and Theory attack the New Day, and out comes Bobby Lashley. He gets in the ring and clotheslines Miss and Austin Theory. He elbows Xavier Woods and, and slams Kofi Kingston into the ring. Lashley spears Austin Theory and celebrates in the ring. Lashley sends Brock Lesnar interrupted his match again. Austin Theory, uh, uh, Austin Theory at Raw, he will t- ter- terrorize everyone at the Royal Rumble. Brock Lesnar jumps over the barricade and hits Lashley with the F5. Brock Lesnar tells Lashley he will see him at the Royal Rumble. Okay, but how's this fair though? So Brock Lesnar to ca- Brock Lesnar jump over the barricade, hit Bobby Lashley with the F5, and then Brock Lesnar si- then Brock Lesnar declare himself the de- declare himself at the Royal Rumble. I don't know how that I don't know how that's fair. So somebody explain that to me in the comment section. What did Brock Lesnar do to earn himself at the World Rumble? Absolutely nothing. All right, let's let's move on. So let's go to commercial break. So we get to the next match: Lacey Evans versus Jasmine uh, Allure. This match was god awful. The bell rings and we are on the way. Lacey Evans throws Jasmine across the ring. Jasmine runs towards Lacey Evans, but Lacey Evans will Lacey Evans with a drop toehold. Lacey Evans does push ups in the middle of the ring as Jasmine gets back up. Lacey Evans with an arm bar followed by a knee to the face. Jasmine Jasmine in the corner as Lacey Evans slams Jasmine's head into the mat. Lacey Evans slams Jasmine's right leg into the mat. Lacey Evans lifts Jasmine up and but uh, um uh, Jasmine Allo rolls her up, but Lacey Evans kicks out. Lacey Evans with a woman's right. Lacey Evans with the Cobra clutch, and Jasmine taps out. The winner of the match, Lacey Evans. This match was god awful. Lacey Evans cut a promo after the match, but the fans boo her. She says the Cobra clutch is unbreakable. She tells them that they will be very mad tomorrow after she wins the World Rumble. Lacey Evans is not winning the Royal Rumble. The only person who's going to win the Women's Royal Rumble is um, Rhea Ripley, and that's all I gotta say. But it could be Liv Morgan, but I'm just going with, but I'm just gonna go with Rhea Ripley to win the Women's Royal Rumble match tomorrow. But anyway, let me continue. Lacey Evans lifts 
lifts Jas Jasmine all over up and throws her over the top rope. Okay, that match that match was got awful. Kayla Braxton, yeah, Kayla Braxton is backstage with Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. They talk about how it how it's a big night and tomorrow is the Royal Rumble. Drew McIntyre slaps Sheamus and tells him he thinks the winner will be Sheamus. And Sheamus slaps Drew McIntyre and tells him he thinks he will he will main event WrestleMania. Both men com compliment each other and chops each other on the process. Kayla Braxton says, but tonight they take on Hit Row. Sheamus tells her Sheamus tells her they will send Hit Row back to Skid Row. Drew Drew McIntyre says when the when they when they lay are in town, they put a banger after banger after banger after banger. So we go to commercial break. So we get the tag team tournament semifinals. Drew McIntyre versus I'm sorry, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus versus Hit Row. Um as you as Drew McIntyre and Sheamus are walking down to the ring, the Viking Raiders attack them from behind. They slam Drew into the barricade. Sheamus with the right hands, but the Viking Raiders throw him into the barricade. Eric with a knee to the face and eyebrow with a splash on both Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. So we go to commercial break. We see a clip of Drew McIntyre and Sheamus walking to the back looking for the Viking Raiders during the commercial break. Out comes out come Hit Row to the ring, and Adam Pearce is in the ring. Adam Pearce says Sheamus and Drew McIntyre volunteer to be out of this match. Everyone will compete, and they will face a replacement team. Out comes out come Braun Strowman and Ricochet. So we get tag team tournament: Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus Hit Row. Um, this this was a solid tag team match. Okay, the bell rings. We are on the way. Ashante and Ricochet start the match. Ricochet with the right hand and a child to the chest. Ricochet to the rope and in a crossbody. Right hand by Ricochet, followed by an elbow drop. He goes for the cover, but Ashante kicks out. Ricochet to the ropes and a drop kick on onto Ashante. As Ashante falls to the to the outside of the ring. Top Dollar distracts Ricochet and Ricochet with a kick. Um knocks Top Dollar off off the ring apron. Top Dollar distracts the referee as B Fab grabs Ricochet's leg and the shot hits him with a drop kick. He goes for the cover, but Ricochet kicks out. Right hands by Ashante. And number cut by Ashante and Top Dollar is tagged in. They double team Ricochet. Top Dollar goes for the cover, but Ricochet kicks out. Ashante is tagged back into the match. A hand lock by Ashante and a body slam by Ashante, followed by an elbow drop. He goes for a back elbow, but Ricochet ducks a ducks in a kick by Ricochet. He hits Ashante with the right hand, and Strowman is tagged into the match. Strowman with a big boot onto onto Ashante. In comes Top Dollar and Strowman clotheslines him to the to the outside of the ring. Strowman with a back body drop onto Ashante. Ricochet with a splash over the top rope onto Top Dollar on, on the outside of the ring. Strowman with the with the monster bomb onto Ashante. He goes for the cover and gets the win. Um, the winner of the match, Braun Strowman and Ricochet. This was a solid tag team match. Kayla Braxton is backstage with Kevin Owens. He tells her he he wants to write to write a wrong that happened two years ago at the Royal Rumble. He should have been champion, but that didn't happen. He says if he wants to win the title tomorrow, he has to take out as many members of the bloodline before the Rumble as he can. It comes it comes to Usos. But WWE officials break it up, break it out, uh, break break it up. Um, Adam Pearce tells the Usos to leave. He doesn't want to see them in the building. So so we go to commercial break. We cut backstage to the Usos are getting getting into the SUV. J um, Jay Uso answers his phone and asks the person he is talking. 
to if he if he is still in town as he needs a favor. Jay Jay Uso h- hangs up and gets into the SUV. So we already knew that Jay Uso was talking to Sami Zayn. You know what I'm saying? We already know that. The um the Wyatt the Wyatt family old oh, theme song plays. Out comes the LA Knight dressed as a Wyatt Wyatt family version of Bray Wyatt. LA Knight takes the hat and shirt off and says the biggest moment in, in Raw history happened on Monday as he walks down in, into the ring. He show and show up and like the third like the third in the punch bowl. Out comes the out comes the Undertaker to assist Bray Wyatt. The fans cheer as he tells them to shut up. He says no one wants L.A. Knight one-on-one. L.A. Knight tells Bray Wyatt he has 24 hours until the the pitch black match, and he wants him to take every advice that the that the um, Undertaker has given him and to and to come out as any version he wants. When the lights goes goes pitch black, as well, as well he. Okay, the lights go out and Wyatt is on a rocking chair on stage. He says they know, they both know that LA Knight isn't smiling on the inside, but it doesn't even matter. The time for talking has come and gone. At the Royal Rumble, he will finally get the get to meet the man he has been looking for. He tells LA Knight to have a great night, laugh and joke because. Tomorrow, when the light go out, when the lights go out, he will see, will see, um, White Bray Wyatt's Bray Wyatt's laugh. Uncle Howdy is standing, standing in between the crowd and the spotlight shine on him. Now I'm just gonna say this one more time. We already knew that. I'm just gonna say Uncle Howdy is Bo Dallas. Uncle Howdy is Bo Dallas. So um, that's all I gotta say. So Uncle Howdy is Bo Dallas. And then we continue. So we go to commercial break. So we get a tag team tournament. Um Legato Del Fantasma versus the Imperium. This was a pretty good tag team match. The bell rings and Caster with a right hand on with the right hand on um on Vega. Vincey is tagging in a right hand by Vincey. Del Toro, Del Toro is tagged in, and a right hand by right hand by Del Toro, a chop to the chest by Del Toro. He goes for a he goes for a uh kick, but Vinci blocks it and hits him and hits him with the clothesline. A headlock by Vinci as Castor is tagging. Right hands by Del, Del Toro followed by a kick to the a kick to the head. While while is tagging as is Vinci. All four men are in the ring in a double clothesline by Imperium. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, a suplex by Castor on to Wild. Castor with a kick to the face. He goes for the cover, but Wild kicks out. Vinci is tagging and they double team Wild. He goes for the cover, but Wild kicks out. Caster is tagged back in as he throws Wild to the ropes, but Wild with a tornado DT. Vince, Vincey and Del Toro are tagged in. Del Toro with a crossbody off the top rope. Del Toro with a kick to the face. Caster gets in the ring, and in a double team drop drop kick by Del Toro onto the Imperium, and they they fall to the outside. Legato Del Fantasma with a double splash onto a Imperium. Del Toro throws Vinci back into the ring. Vinci on the top rope, but Del Toro with a hard corona. Del Toro is tagged in. Uh, Del Toro hits Vinci with a splash and goes for the cover, but Caster breaks it up. Del Toro with chops onto Caster as he throws Caster to the outside of the ring. Wild slides to the outside, but Caster slams him onto the mat. Vinci and Del Toro on the top rope. Vinci with the gorilla press off the top rope onto the mat. Vinci holds his right holds his right knee, and Caster is tagging the Imperial the Imperial bomb onto Wild. 
Caster goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match appearing. This was a pretty good tag team match. Commercial break. Adam Pierce is backstage in the and then comes Charlotte Flair. She tells she tells her Sonya Deville is annoying and opportunities are aren't not given. But Sonya Deville is present. She will she says she will give Sonya a t- Sonya Deville a title match. Adam Pierce tells her next week. Charlotte Flair against Sonya Deville for the SmackDown Women's Champion. Okay, um we already knew that I'm just gonna say this right now. Sonya Deville is going to lose to Charlotte Flair next week on SmackDown. And Charlotte Flair is going to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm calling it straight down the middle. All right, let's move on. So we get the main event of the evening. So we go. So we got Kevin Owens versus Solo Sequoia. This was um this was a good main event match right here. The bell rings. We are underway. A a headlock by Kevin Owens as Solo Sequoia throws him to the ropes. A shoulder blocked by both men, but no one moves. So Sequoia to the ropes and Kevin Owens with a back elbow, followed by Santon. So Sequoia in the corner. As Kevin Owens goes for a cannonball, but Sol Sequoia rolls to the outside of the ring. Kevin Owens to the outside as Sol Sequoia slams him into the barricade and, and into the ring post. Sol Sequoia throws Kevin Owens into the barricade. So we go to one. So we go to. So we go to a final commercial break. Back from the final commercial, Kevin Owens with an atomic drop followed by a clothesline. So Sequoia back up and Kevin Owens with a right hand. But so Sequoia with the head, but Kevin Owens with the DET. He goes for the cover, but so Sequoia kicks out. Kevin Owens climbs the top rope, but so Sequoia with the right hand. So Sequoia climbs the second rope, but he climbs to the second rope. So Sequoia goes for a suplex, but Kevin Owens with the right hand. Kevin Owens with the head, but and an elbow to the face. And so Sequoia falls to the mat. Um, Kevin Owens with a frost splash off the top rope. He goes for the cover, but so Sequoia kicks out. Kevin Owens with a super kick onto so Sequoia, but so Sequoia is still standing. So Sequoia with a super kick, but Kevin Owens with a super kick. He goes for the stunner, but so Sequoia hits him with a Samoan drop. He goes for the cover, but Kevin Owens kicks out. So Sequoia goes for a splash in the corner. But Kevin Owens moves out of the way. Kevin Owens hits Solo Sequoia with a two super kicks and a cannonball in the corner. Kevin Owens climbs the top rope and he hits Solo Sequoia with the senton. He goes for the cover, but, but Sami Zayn drags Solo Sequoia out of the ring. Kevin Owens looks at look looks at Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens Kevin Owens to the outside. Solo Sequoia goes for a super kick. On Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens moves out of the way, and so Sequoia hits Sami Zayn with super kick. Kevin Owens throws so Sequoia into the ring steps. Kevin Owens clear, yeah. Kevin Owens clears the announcer the announcer table. He go he grabs so Sequoia, but so Sequoia throws Kevin Owens into the ring post. So Sequoia grabs a steel chair, and he hits Kevin Owens with it. So Sequoia climbs the barricade, but Kevin Owens with a right hand, a head but by So Sequoia. So Sequoia jumps, jumps, but Kevin Owens hits him with a super kick. So Sequoia runs into, runs onto Kevin Owens, but Kevin Owens hits him with a power bomb on the table, but the table, but the table doesn't break. Kevin Owens grabs a chair and lock and looks and looks at Sami Zayn. He turns around and hits So Sequoia with the with the chair. Kevin Owens throws the chair and and walks away. So the winner of the match no, the winner of the match no contest and SmackDown and, yeah and SmackDown goes off the air. But like I said earlier, um, SmackDown was a decent show, and we all and, and we already know that Roman Reigns told Sami Zayn last week not to show up on SmackDown. And what did he did? What did Sami Zayn do? He showed up on SmackDown and saved Soul Sequoia. You can tell by the title of the thumbnail too. And that's all I gotta say. So Sami Zayn is gonna be in trouble by the tribal chief Roman Reigns tomorrow at the World Rumble. 
after Sami Zayn told after Roman Reigns told Sami Zayn last week not to show up on SmackDown, but this week Sami Zayn show up this show up to SmackDown, and um and try and, and save Soul Sequoia, but um like I said earlier, SmackDown was a decent show. And that's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, if you guys join my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on SmackDown because it was a decent show. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more for more wrestling content. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or I go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my tit my um Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my WWE Warrior Rumble review on highlights. This is your boy, B-Boy Facts on TV. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and always stay positive. Um, KFG crew, KFG kings, too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.